All right. Are you, can you try that? Yeah. Check. Hello. Check one, two. You got it? Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. All just, right. Uh, just a, a 15 minute learning curve. <laughs> no problem. We got there. We got there. We oh no, there's a buzz. No, that was when I first, um, oh. I had the, I had the volume up too loud. Uh, ah, gotcha, gotcha. And then uh, I had to back it off a little bit, and then I think, I think we're good. Oh, <laughs> all right, sweet. Okay, all right, we got it. All right, all right, awesome, cool. And so, hopefully the Zoom audio settings are correct so that it like isn't trying to do all the noise correction stuff. Uh, yeah, it should be. Yeah, I mean, if 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 anything sounds out of whack, um, you know, just shout it out in the chat. But I think we probably, if anything's too loud or whatever, we can figure it out. If we figured that out. <laughs> Well, there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everyone for coming in. This is a lot of people already. <laughs> so, um, uh, 20 years ago, All Hail West Texas came out. Uh, so, uh, Joe had the idea to have uh, to to do this Twitch stream together, uh, yeah. and uh, we we're both super excited about it. Um, I uh, I uh, put a lot of practice into this. So, um, uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to go down the list, uh, and we're going to, you know, uh, see where it goes. Maybe a couple extras at the end. Uh, and, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, yeah. We'll give it. Did you want to warm up a little bit on some other ones first, or do you want to just get straight into it? No, I guess we, I guess we can just start. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. to an album huh yeah yeah That's a... i love it i love it i love the hail satan part at the end <laughs> i mean if, if there's two things john can do perfectly it's it's a hail satan and a goddamn <laughs> <laughs> that's very true <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah that uh that track i um i used to uh, that was like one of the first songs i played it like an open mic Oh. <laughs> um, when would that have been? That would have been like 
let's see, it's it's 2022 now. I don't know, even though 15 years ago or something like that. Um, yeah, something like that, 15, 16 years ago or something like that. I used to play that at an open mic. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. That and, the, and actually, this next one coming up. Sophomore year. Oh, I forgot. Check this out. I made a, um, I found a, like a VST plugin for like a tape loop effect. I'm going to turn that off. Just to get that little extra Mountain Goats, All Hail West Texas vibe. Sophomore year. You rush for an average of eight and a third yards per carry. All eyes were on you, junior year. Blew your knee out in an out of town game. Nowhere to go but down, down, down. Nothing but the ground left for you to fall to. July You made a whole bunch of brand new friends People you used to look down on and you'd figured out Way to make real money giving ends to your friends and it felt stupendous Chrome spokes on your Japanese bike But selling acid was a bad idea Selling it to a cop was a worse one The new law said that 17 year olds can do federal time You were the first one so I sing this song for you William Standaforth on a hue. Your grandfather rode the boat over from Ireland, but you made a bad decision or two, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> I love that song. It's just with the with the D A and G, just very simple, but then on that selling acid was a bad idea going to b flat on that yeah <laughs> some of the one of the things that really trips me up and like uh i was going over some of the songs and mm -hmm. that the weird walk he does in so many of these yeah uh, and i'm just like i don't that's not <laughs> that's not something i really do yeah um, yeah yeah so i'm like well we'll see what happens we'll see how it goes um but uh <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Oh, thanks. I like all the uh, all the goat. Hannah's got the yeah, great goat emotion. Yeah, I, I was just I was just looking through the through the chat. There is yeah. uh it is a uh... false starts is very JD. Yeah, agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hail the VSTs. Yeah, I found this tape loop VST. I was pretty stoked about. It, it was a free one even. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that song's the most real song on the whole album from Living in West Texas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you still live there? I actually, I've never even been through West Texas. I've just driven through the Panhandle. That's the only part of Texas I've been in. I've only been to Austin, I think. Yeah. Thanks. William Stanforth Donahue, Jenny. Yeah, that's true. There is a lot of there is a lot of um, a lot of characters with actual names in this one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, thanks, Run. <laughs> all right so th this one uh it was a it was a tough tough call when i was uh working on divvying up the songs because yeah <laughs> i was like which one do i want to play less this one or jenny <laughs> <laughs> so i made my choice and now i'm gonna have to live with it uh, okay okay but i guess we'll uh i guess we'll see what happens here She came in on the red eye, Dallas 
fast forward world all the way from sunny Taipei. Skin the color of a walnut shell and a baseball cap holding down her black hair. She came here after midnight. The hot weather made her feel right at home. Come on in. We haven't slept for weeks. Drink some of this. It'll put color in your cheeks. He drove in from Mexicali. No worse for wear. Money to burn. Time to kill. But five minutes looking in his eyes. We all knew he was broken pretty bad. So we gave him what we had. We cleared up space for him to sleep in and we let the silence that's our trademark make its presence felt come on in we haven't slept for weeks drink some of this it'll put color in your cheeks They came in by the dozens, walking or crawling. Some were bright-eyed, some were dead on their feet. And they came from Zimbabwe or from Soviet Georgia, East St. Louis or from Paris, so they lived across the street. But they came, and when they finally made it here, it was the least we could do to make our welcome clear. Come on in. We haven't slept for weeks, drink some of this, it'll put color in your cheeks. Yeah, I love the visuals in that song. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Sing that one at the top of your lungs, hell yeah. That is, that's a good one, that's a good one for that. I feel like uh well i've said this before maybe on on the hand the hand stream or something but uh but i feel like john uh, oftentimes sings perfectly about like the moment right before shit goes down you know? <laughs> <It's> yeah like, <laughs> it's like as soon as that song ends something bad is happening yeah <laughs> there there is a handful of those that's for sure <laughs> Nice. All right. Well, I'm going to give Jenny a try. Um, yeah. It's a good, good little love song here. out of the showroom our house faced west so the big orange sun positioned at your back I lit up your magnificent silhouette how much better how much better could my life get 900 cubic centimeters of raw whining power no outstanding warrants for my arrest whoa 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 Whoa, whoa, the pirate's life for me. Then I inhaled 
as deeply as I possibly could. You were sweet and delicious as the warm desert air. And you pointed your headlamp toward the horizon. We were the one thing in the galaxy God didn't have his eyes on. 900 cc's of raw whining power. No outstanding warrants for my arrest. I did all DD. God damn, the pirate's life for me. Another good goddamn there at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, I like those emotes on that one. Is it? It's, that's an that's a good one. That's an intense song. Intense and fun. Without you know, uh, without adding a little bit of, a little bit of JD Winder voice. Yeah. Yeah. Prof, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Sometimes I get a little bit more of the uh, of the JD in my in my blood than. Sometimes when I'm playing non mountain goat songs, I feel like I'm still playing a mountain goat song because it's like, it's like the, I mean, really like, I, I mean, I, so I started out playing bass mm -hmm. and, you know, as in different bands and things like that, but I never really sang. And then, um, and then it, I, cause I felt like I could never find my voice or what, you know, whatever. But then like when I, um, when I actually all hail West Texas is kind of the album that I started playing music, uh, from like singing and playing guitar to, And, uh, yeah. So I feel like it really, um, it got into my blood and like, you know, in like my style and my delivery and all that. Yeah. And so, um, sometimes I feel like it's really all I can play. It's just like, I feel like I can play, <laughs> it's like, what, <laughs> like I, I can play stuff. It just sounds like it's like a, like a, an imit in, in like a poor intimidate Im imitation of the mountain goats or something like that, you know, like playing Pink Floyd or something. <laughs> But you know, yeah, Lovecraft in yeah. Brooklyn. I fucking that Lovecraft in Brooklyn. That's a great song. Yeah, I've tried to that one. I can't actually. I've tried playing Lovecraft in Brooklyn, but I can't get the uh, I can't get the rhythm down on that one. It's a tough one, especially with just guitar. You know, it feels like you need a you need like a band on that one. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I'm just I'm just uh, thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll give it a shot. All right, you got it. So fine. I'll drink to your health and you drink to mine as we try to make the money we scored out in Vegas hold out for a while. We drink vodka from Russia, get our chocolates from Belgium. We have our strawberries flown in from England. much good in the end I got a cracked engine block both of us do yeah the house the jewels the Italian race car they don't make us feel better about who we are I got termites in the framework but so do you down here where the watermelon grows so sweet the ground underneath of your feet we are experts in the art of frivolous spending it's gone on like this for three years i guess we're drunk all the time and our lives are a mess and the deathless love we swore to protect with our bodies stumbling across its bleak Yeah, the fire 
that was a great performance. Nice. Oh, Good delivery on that one. <laughs> yeah. God, I love that one. There's not a song on here I don't love, actually, though. So. <laughs> I know. It's also good. Um, even, like, towards the end of the, the album, it starts getting, like, um, you know, because it's front-loaded with all these, um, you know, amazing songs that are, you know, always performed live, blah, blah, blah. And the last half of the album, it starts, you know, it's not like, it's not like bangers really, but sometimes you like hear them, you know, you know, sometimes you'll, they'll like play on random or something and you're like, oh man, this song is so good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Went to England one time and had strawberry and instantly thought of that song. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think of, I think of mountain goats references all the time. It's, <laughs> well especially because he's got the going to series you know yeah. and um actually you know and there's so many friggin' mountain goat songs out there that um that i mean you know there's a bunch i haven't even heard and i'm like a huge mountain goats fan it's ridiculous and um and so like there for example there's one called we're in wisconsin right now there's one called going to wisconsin <laughs> But Hannah is actually going to come out and join me on this next one. Oh, so this nice. is another kind of uh, another kind of love song on the album, kind of like Jenny, but in a different way. Yeah. So uh, so I asked her the other day. I said, "Hey, you know, you want to come and do this one with me?" And she said, "Yeah." So we've practiced it a few times. So um, hopefully she's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did I miss one? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Sorry. Yeah, I got to do balance still. Yeah, I, I flipped to a tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. My bad. I uh, I got the track order wrong. Sorry about that. It's in two songs from now. I have my tabs. I set up my... So I wouldn't have to look up the track order. I set up all my tabs like in order. And I, I got a little too excited and I skipped forward. <laughs> all right, cool. I'm going to try balance. Glasses of sweet iced tea underneath the sweet gum tree and the love we once nurtured you and me disintegrated violently stick your tongue out catch the pieces as they drift down the air I am too slow to catch them all not too far gone to care Summer hours spent picking at the bones, figuring the interest on delinquent loans, speaking in sad and mournful tones, trying to squeeze tears out of mute stones. Wet your fingers, place it toward the wind, feel disaster in the air. We are far too slow to outrun it now, not too far gone to care. Two hundred and eighty-four Mountain Goat songs on your phone. You still haven't heard all the songs out there. Yeah, exactly, Prof. Yeah, it's hard to digest all that. It's hard to digest them all. Yeah, I uh, I used to have a count on them at some point how many there there were, but that was that was you know before I don't know the last five albums or whatever came out. <laughs> yeah, a quick poll. Yeah. Um, I saw Hannah ask earlier what my favorite, what our favorite tracks on the album were. My favorite track on the album, Source Decay. 
I love Source Decay. Fault Lines was mine for a while, Fault and it was Lines, actually yeah. the when when I when we'd go to see them, I would always yell for it, and JD, um, he would either ignore it. You know, this is when, um, you could generally get. We were generally close enough where when the when he would he would always do like the step back from the microphone and like make like he's thinking about what to play next, which was the, uh-huh. which was the yell it yell it and you know yeah, and yeah. hope for the best um, part of the evening, uh, and I would always yell it and most of the time he ignored it, but then one time he just shut it down. And he's like, that's there's too many words in that, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Oh yeah. Oh, sax or no sax? That is a good mountain goats poll. Oh. All right, I'm voting. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. I love seeing. I I love seeing him live. I've seen. I think I've only yeah. seen him five or six times, but uh, and I've only seen him once where it was just John and not the band. Oh, but man. It was a great show. <laughs> I think I think we've seen him 40 times or something like that. Oh, shit. That's freaking awesome. And the solo shows are always like the one, you know, they're always the yeah. ones to make sure you get to because they're yeah. always they're always super fun. Yeah. Um but yeah, I mean in in 2008 when L'Oreal and I were were basically just getting together, um uh, we did like a little magnetic fields uh tour mini follow thing um mm-hmm. but then on the on the khaki king tour is when we like um no the khaki, the khaki king tour we saw in new york and that was our first mountain goat show and then on the gone primitive tour with john Vanderslice, we went like up and up the coast and you know like oh, virginia yeah. to like massachusetts or something like that yeah um yes and frankenstein and i met through the mountain goats and oh was, uh, and yeah oh. and he met oh, yeah and he met his wife <laughs> in line in a mountain goats oh, it's nice uh, it goes it goes deep <laughs> with hell yeah with us. <laughs> wow well i'm glad frankenstein i'm glad you guys are here then yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's a, yeah. you know the 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 forums on the website we mm-hmm. I forge forge some relationships through that uh some great friendships no you didn't you, you met me like when we were like 13 or something like that <laughs> <laughs> right now now i only travel for fish <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know i used to, i've seen those those i never posted on those mountain goats forms the same with the hold steady forms. I never posted on those, but I did read them sometimes. But I never read the hold steady forms. But um, yeah, there was a point where the mountain goats forms got a little bit too. You know, he there was a reason he shot them down. So oh, they got, okay, they got a little too much at one point. Okay. But um, back, you know, you know, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, it was uh, yeah. I met a lot of people through there. So hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh man here's another one. i gotta i i, I really should have practiced no worries dude you've been killing it let me back to oh can you hear me on this oh man jd didn't like your sass <laughs> What'd you do to him? Or what'd you, what was your sass all about? Did he call you out or something? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard he, I heard he has a record store. You could probably go meet him there if you wanted to. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's definitely never been there. <laughs> I'm gonna try this. Uh, this one's probably gonna be the rockiest. Well, I'd probably just jinx it for the rest of them, but. <clears throat> hmm. 
wind out of Oklahoma this morning smelled like blood and smoke. Crows discuss their future in the branches of their Louisiana live oak. The limbs are strong and heavy, and the leaves are all aglow. The branches brush the upper air, but the roots reach down to where the bad people go. And what will I do with you? Pink and blue, true gold, nine days old. Nice new clothes on you and an old cardboard produce box for a cradle. Mash some bananas in a coffee cup And I fed you there at the kitchen table Crows outside complaining about the Finer points of local politics Strange wind all full of new smells Rust and fur and reception sticks And what will I do with you? Pink and blue, true gold, nine days old. <laughs> I feel like I had it there for a second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hell yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, gift and subs again. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and make sure. Oh, I should have made a, a shout out command. Make sure everyone goes and follows Joseph, too. Oh, that's a good hug. All right, here comes Hannah. Hey. All right. What's going on, Chris? Hey. <laughs> oh, I can't hear him actually. Yeah, can't hear him I got the headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right, we're gonna try this. Right. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna have to turn down the guitar a little bit, and then from here, and then I'll just I'll move it back or forth depending on how the level is. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I gotta get you a little CD of sorts. Yeah. Oh. We live high, our love gorges on the alcohol we feed it, and it grows all fat and friendly. We have surplus if we need it. We hold on hard as we can. Our knuckles are wide. I learn foreign and exotic terms of endearment by which to address you. We feed fresh fruit to one another. We stay up all night. I am healthy and I am whole, but I have poor. And I want to go home But I am home We are strong We are faithful We are guardians of a rare thing We pay close Careful 
careful attention to the news the morning air brings. We show great loyalty to the hard times we've been through. We are filled with riches and wonders. Our love keeps the things it finds. And we dance like drunken sailors, lost at sea and out of our minds. You find shelter somewhere in me. I find great comfort in you. I screwed that up again. <laughs> I keep you safe from harm. You hold me in your arms, and I want to go home. But I am home. Fun. Thanks, <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks for letting me come on and play with you. Yeah, that was great. And uh, thanks, Chris. This is super fun. Oh, yeah, that's right. Here, yeah. if you want to be able to hear him. <laughs> thanks, Chris. This is super fun. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, bye, everyone. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks, Hannah. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. <laughs> that's right. An all couple stream of the alpha couple songs. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, there's only, you know, 20 other albums to celebrate <laughs> uh, anniversaries of, so maybe we'll yeah, get to all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could be probably be doing this once a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah. So this song, uh, I did this for uh, one of the uh, back when it, on the forums again. Um, mm -hmm. We uh, we would uh, w well, I didn't really have any part in organizing, so saying we is playing fast and loose with it. But we <laughs> we uh, would uh, organize these compilations where all the members of the forums would you know cover mountain goat songs and we put it i have like actual hard copies of cds <laughs> laying oh, wow. around cool. somewhere yeah. um yeah. you know there was one where we did all the uh going to songs there was i forget the a couple nice. of them were themed um but uh so this is one of them um oh sunset street stroller yeah <laughs> <laughs> But this is one of the ones I, I'm i trying to think of the other songs I did. I did this and Cold Milk Bottle off Sweden. And, uh, oh, nice. And uh, I forget which going to song. Uh, but anyway, this was one of the ones that we that we did on the uh, or that I did for one of the compilations. Um, so I'm hoping maybe I remember how to at least play it a little. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, speaking of the going to songs, we, Hannah, uh, I got Hannah to go to, we, she didn't know, you know, I got her into the mountain goats, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, we saw, we saw them up in, uh, in Oslo when we were up in Norway and oh, they wow. played, uh, John, they played going to Georgia and John was like, don't record this. <laughs> if, if you see anybody in the crowd recording it, tell them to stop. <laughs> I'd like to say I feel like way back when people respected that, but nowadays yeah. I feel like it's just a beacon for people to get their phones yeah, out. You know, like he's like, sure. don't don't record this, and like sixty phones go up. I'm, just like, <laughs> oh, that, that's, I'm like, that doesn't work like it used to. <laughs> <I'm> yeah. Like, <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Took a weekend, drove to Provo Snow was white and fluffy But a weekend in Utah will fix what's 
was wrong with us. The gray sky was vast and real, cryptic above me. I wanted you to love me like you used to do. So two weeks in the Bahamas. compilations were fun oh my god i gotta dig them up uh i i do still have some of the the uh digital files saved i know Fra uh frankenstein said that he uh i guess he was the one that was in control of that domain oh okay yeah because we had like a whole domain register to it at one point nice. um yeah. yeah i got some of the files somewhere around and i uh definitely have some of the cds so that would be That'd be actually. I should. I should definitely dig them up and 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 spread them around again. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. My. You know. My. In the back in the uh, in the early days of the internet, like in the. Not like not the super early days, but like in the late '90s, my dad was really into. Uh, he he was he's like a huge Rory Gallagher fan, um, and uh, so he was on these like Rory Gallagher forums, and uh, and uh, they would they would do the same thing actually. Yeah. And so they would like, uh, they would, they would do the same thing. They, they all like submit a song and then, you know, they recorded a CD and then they, they mailed a CD out to all the different people. And <laughs> yeah, he ended up, that's what, yeah. pretty much what we did. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. What a fun time. They had, he ended up going like to, uh, we had to Ireland, which is where, uh, which is where Rory's from. Hmm. He ended up going to Ireland and meeting up with a bunch of them and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Power of the did internet. You, yeah, the power of the internet. Yeah. Well, here we are. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. Back then, you probably had, you know, it was it would it was probably so much different to do all that, um, and now it's even even more vastly different when we're doing the same things, kind of. Yeah. 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 yeah hell yeah. Nice. Well, this is fun. I'm glad we're doing this, and it's cool. You guys are all hanging out and chatting. Yeah. Yes, thanks to everyone for, for coming by. All right, cool. So I'm going to try this next song. Uh, so now I'm on Jeff. We're on Jeff Davis County Blues. We're getting near the end. And um, I uh, looked this song up online 
because I knew at one time I had seen somebody had like made a map of this song because one thing about the mountain goats, you know, is that um, I'm sure, you know, <laughs> obviously, you know this, but, but is that, you know, they get very, very specific. He gets very, very specific in his lyrics, you know? So it's not just like, he's not just singing about, you know, some town or like uh, some town in the abstract or something. He sings like about a particular road in a particular town, like a specific place, you know? Which, uh, which I think Craig Finn, you know, does a great job of doing as well. And uh, it's like one thing I see kind of like a common thread between them. I mean, I'm sure they're not the only people that do it, but it's, it's one thing I've noticed between the two of them. And it's like funny because like that specificity makes it feel like more relatable somehow, even if you're not from that area. I don't know how that works, but, but it does for me anyway. So anyway, so this song... He very specifically sings about, you know, different turns on the roads and all this kind of stuff. So I found the map. I found this map somebody made. <laughs> and so here it is. <laughs> and so uh, I don't know if you can see that, but, but, um, but yeah, so that's, that's like the actual, the actual route taken in this song. And then um, on the map there, there's, um, there's uh, some text, which might be hard to read, but, but there's some text that shows kind of like where in the song it is. After three nights in jail, I head north from Toyville, switch to 285 in Pecos, head out to Red Bluff. My walk's real steady and my eyes are real cold, but I feel like I'm all of 16 years old. Lost in the travel launch with the television on with the sound down. I don't feel so tough Old issues of Sunset Magazine To read, sleep for 12 hours And dream about home I have no place to go, so I Drive up to New Mexico Fix my eyes in the rear view When I cross the state line And I panic, I guess Although it's quite late Take the first exit to 128 I am coming back to Midland And I hope you won't mind Polaroids of the two of us Scattered on the passenger seat I drive slowly and evenly And I dream about home Hopefully you could nice. follow along on the map there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I mean. That's one that's like... Um, your device is offline. Shh. Connect. Wipe down from the top of your screen. Then go to settings. Network. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's what I mean. Like, that's one of the ones that's kind of like tucked towards the, the end of the album. But it's still yeah. like... And, but you hear it like uh, randomly, and you're like, "Oh man, <laughs> that's yeah. so good! Yeah. Such Absolutely. a good song!" Yeah, yeah. So it's giving you the bird specifically, or screen or Rorschach. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, thanks for the emotes and the claps and the birds there, everybody. Appreciate it. I love playing that song. It's a good one. 
Oh yeah, turn my turn my tape off. <laughs> I actually I was telling Chris this, but I um, but I actually recorded a. Uh, I'm not, I haven't been using it because I felt like it was just a little bit too much. Where that other tape effect I was using was a little more subtle, but but I actually recorded. If you guys listen to this album, I know a lot of you have, but but on this album, you know, uh, there's a lot of tape noise, and so I actually like sampled part of it, and um, and then made like a loop, so. So there it is. And then I was going to play with this in the background. Because it's like very specifically that album. But, uh, but I felt like it was a little too much. So I just ended up using uh, like a different tape effect I found. But... <laughs> oh, yeah. Now. Uh-oh. Oof. <laughs> I have to sheath for a second. I'm like, wait, how did it go? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know the chorus of this, but okay, <laughs> that's fine. It's, 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 everything's under control. Okay. <clears throat> um. So we the uh we're down to the last four on the album, <laughs> and we split them. Uh, we're, I'm going to do the next two and then just going to do the last two and then we'll, uh, we'll, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, <laughs> professional, professionalism, <laughs> only professionalism here. I'm like, let me listen to this song. I don't know how it goes. <laughs> like I've listened to this album a hundred thousand times. <laughs> And then I just go, and yeah, I'm just, my brain is blank. <laughs> okay. I feel you. So I'll do these two. Uh, Joseph will do the next two, and then uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens after that. Cool. I'm gonna take a quick bio break when you start, but I'll be right back. Okay. Peacock's plume and I waited for you But I never told you where I was It was you who taught me how To write these kinds of equations I waited on the steps for you And I hid in the bushes Whenever a car pulled into the parking lot You taught me how so listen to these distant stations distant stations i saw the sky break i threw a rock at a crow's playing in the mulches and rose bushes by the motel office missed him by a good yard or two I sang old songs from nowhere Los Angeles Albuquerque said a small prayer for the poor and the naked and the hungry I prayed real hard for you I waited for you but I never told you where I was it was you who taught me how to write this kind of equation. I waited on the steps for you, and I hid in the 
the bushes whenever a car pulled into the parking lot. You taught me how to listen to these distant stations. Distant stations. I was glad I, I got back in time for the uh, for the line with the crow playing in some mulch over by the rose bushes <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> There's some weird um, like pacing in yeah. the lines to that song, but again, yeah. again, so amazing and such like a sleeper. Um, mm-hmm. As far as like when you think about All Hail West Texas, it's not like one of the ones that jumps out, but it's still like right. really like. Uh, it's a really great one yeah yeah i love that i thought but one of my favorite lines in that is like you know but i never told you where i was mm-hmm. i waited for you but i never told you where i was i love that line yeah oh wow lady hazel Frybread trucker thanks to everyone uh for coming Hell in yeah. yeah cool to see the lady hazel in here hannah hannah did a stream with her yeah. like yeah what was that a couple months ago yeah i stopped in for that yeah that's cool so the next one is uh (laughs) we talked when we again when we were uh divvying up songs we were like uh i kind of did like a rough draft of of what we'd all do and just was like i'm glad you picked this one because i was (laughs) sure what to do with it and now that we're here i'm not sure what to do with it either (laughs) um and i was looking around i'm like maybe i can like make maybe i can do something with something laying around (laughs) you got a little casio or something (laughs) no i don't know i got a little shaky thing you know what's funny is i do (laughs) so stupid i do have casios downstairs and i (laughs) You know, I was thinking about it, and I was like, "Oh, I should try and see if I can if I can figure out something um, comparable." Uh, and then, you know, as as things go in my life, uh, <laughs> I, I, I I'm going, 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 and then all of a sudden, <laughs> today's the day, and I'm like, "Oh, I never did that." I know it's funny because we first talked about this like two months ago or something, right? Wasn't it <laughs> back in like early January or like late December or something? Yeah. And I put it on the calendar and I was and like, and it's crazy. The time is weird. I mean, I know everybody yeah. always says that, it's, but time is weird. It really is. Yeah. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to mute for two seconds and, and listen to something. All right, cool. Yeah, Frankenstein, the, this guy could be a popular favorite. He's a studio to record his album. <laughs> there's actually a little boom box sitting over here i haven't pulled it out we're house sitters i don't know for people who don't know me or hannah um we're house sitters and so we're uh we're traveling around we've been doing it for four years so we kind of travel around the country or actually the world and house sit in different places and uh right now we're house sitting in wisconsin because it's where hannah's family's from and so we're kind of near her family but uh anyway this house we're staying in they have like this little this little tape recorder little you know small little boom box and i've been tempted to i was kind of i was thinking i might pull it out before this you know just to just to try it but but uh yeah i ordered the uh, the also the new um the new all hail west texas uh 20th anniversary album like special edition tape release was uh came out today so you could pre-order or yesterday or something and um so i pre-ordered one of those should be pretty sweet it's like an all gold cassette yeah, Frank is saying, yeah, it, it's really fun. We've been, uh, yeah, we've been doing it for for a long time, for four years. Yeah, like I said, pretty much full, full, full time. Um, uh, yeah, we uh, what? We actually haven't had an apartment together ever. That's been ours. Because <laughs> we met, well, like Hannah and I met right before we started house sitting. You're driving through Wisconsin, heading up to Minneapolis. Oh, nice. Oh, Chris muted the Zoom, but not the channel. Oh, okay. 
butcher. Sorry, I, I, I was Zoom. It was muted for my headphones, so I just assumed he was muted on stream. So I was like filling the. I was just just chatting while uh, while he was doing that. <laughs> oh, did that not work? <laughs> it worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you don't listen to this, <laughs> man. All these, all this, all this technical stuff uh, <laughs> sounded great. I'm like, I didn't think it sounded Damn great. It. Well, it'll be my first time hearing it when you, when you play it. It didn't. Now. It didn't sound great. <laughs> but I guess it it it'll be something. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> we heard all the shakes and toots. Great. <laughs> What if I, maybe I can use this, hold on. Now I might as well not. I don't know how to play the harmonica. Me neither. I don't know how to play the harmonica. Oh, that's not supposed to be on the loop. <laughs> <laughs> another another professionalism. we could do on the fly <laughs> hell yeah i liked it it was nice it was cool man when you started that off i wasn't sure i was like how is this gonna f but then when you brought it back in that was really cool i really like that thanks yeah yeah 
Yeah, he's got that. I don't even know what he's using on that. Is it like a? I mean, I assume it's some little little Casio or something. Yeah, it's though. some kind of that. Casio. Yeah. Um, unlike the uh, when I memorized the exact model of the boombox and actually found one at a thrift store and immediately oh, purchased it. Hell um, yeah. <laughs> I did not memorize the model number of the Casio, but nice. I do still have I do still have that boom box. Oh sweet. Yeah. Did you I I you know, I bet they go for a lot on eBay. You know, I never even looked it up. Yeah. Um, I, I just happened to like you, you know what? It wasn't even that I memorized it. It was I I was at a thrift store and I saw the boombox on the shelf and i was like that's a panasonic i'm, I'm like i wonder if yeah. I'm, then i'm like googling like yeah boombox john darnell used to <laughs> record <laughs> and i'm like i'm like shit that's it i'm like that's the same one so i bought it it was yeah. like ten dollars or something nice like, yeah this is amazing so yeah have you recorded anything on it no um no, yeah. well maybe That'd have been no, fun for the compilation. <laughs> nothing. Oh, it, yeah, it was after that. Um, uh, yeah, nothing. Of, uh, I messed around with it a little bit, but I never, like, recorded anything, you know, that I, like, kept. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty fun. Yeah, that's that loud-ass tape were on that thing. Was yours just as loud, like, if, if you if you play back? Do you remember? Um, It was audible, but it wasn't as pronounced for some reason uh, yeah. um yeah. it re it's really like you know jd called it like he's like i i really considered the tape grind like a an extra instrument in the, yeah in, you know the way that he used it um yeah and it was you know i i never really heard it you know when i when i messed around with it but um not again not as not as pronounced at least but. yeah I always wondered too, like, um, I mean, you know, obviously recorded on that thing, but I mean, they must have, you know, for release, especially because it was remastered. You know, I wondered what they did to, you know, what like, what does it look like remastering something that was like recorded on that? You know what I mean? I don't, I, <laughs> I can't even figure out like how to mute things correctly. <laughs> or or like get the volume to play when i want it like that <laughs> anything about like remastering or anything of that um, it's way be way beyond the scope of my of my understanding <laughs> yeah 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 i got that me too yeah yeah well nice well this next song source decay this was probably one of the first songs that i learned to play um that i'd memorized and so it's one of those things where you know how like when you're learning a song if you don't if you always look at the tab you know you never memorize it <laughs> and so <laughs> i know that all too well yeah yeah so on this one I, I finally like broke the habit and and uh made sure that i um made sure that i didn't look at the tab i did pull it up though just in case because i don't want to screw it up but here's the thing now that it's pulled up i'm gonna forget the lyrics unless i look at it <laughs> i should probably just close it <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm just going to close it and I'm going to go for it. I'm going to minimize it. I'll just minimize it and then I can get it back if I know. Once a week, I make the drive two hours east to check the Austin post office box. I take the detour through our old neighborhood, see all the Chevy Impalas in their front yards up on blocks, and I park in an alley, and I read through the postcards that you continue to send. Where as indirectly as you can, you ask what I remember. I like these torture devices from my old best friend. Well, I'll tell you what I know, like I swore I always would. I don't think it's gonna do you any good. I remember the train headed south out of Bangkok town. 
down toward the water. I always get a late start when the sun is going down and the traffic's thinning out and the glare is hard to take. I wish the West Texas Highway was a Mobius strip. I could ride it out forever when I feel my heart break. I almost swear I hear it happen. Is that clear and that hard? I come in off the highway and I park in my front yard. I'll fall out of the car like a hostage from a plane. I think of you a while, start wishing it would rain. And I remember the train headed south out of Bangkok, down, down toward the water. I come into the house, put on a pot of coffee, walk the floors a little while. I set the postcard on the table with all the others like it. Start sorting through the pile. I check the pictures and the postmarks and the captions and the stamps for signs of any pattern at all. When I come up empty handed, the feeling almost overwhelms me. Let a few of my defenses fall. Then I smile a bitter smile, not a pretty thing to see. Think about a railroad platform back in 1983 And I remember the train headed south out of Bangkok Down, down toward the water I remembered it. <laughs> Mostly. I screwed up one chord, but that was it. <laughs> That was when, when Chris and I started talking about this, and I said, that's the only song I want to play, Source Decay. Other than that, I'm good. <laughs> oh, thanks, Frankenstein. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was a fun one. Nice. So, yeah, I tried, you know, I tried learning one of the songs off the, like, the unreleased tracks, you know, but I didn't really get there, so. Um, like, the, that Waco one. I don't know if you got to the other ones at all, but. Not really. Well, you have yeah. uh, absolute lip ups. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. Okay. Pull that one up because that one I do not have an unreleased one. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. This one is a good. This one's a good ender for the album. Uh, this is the original ender. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. After one long season of waiting After one long season of wanting I am breaking open My insides are pink and raw And it hurts me when I move my jaw But I I'm taking tiny steps forward And I feel sure that my wounds will heal And I will bloom here in my room With a little water and a little bit of sunlight and a little bit of tender mercy tender mercy the big trucks come up the highway and the big wheels rattle my windows And night, night comes to Texas After one
one blind season alone in here After one long sweltering summer I am going to find the exit And I will go to the house of a friend I know and I will let myself forget with a little water and a little bit of sunlight and a little bit of tender mercy tender mercy With a little bit of water And a little bit of sunlight And a little bit of tender mercy Tender mercy Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got through it. We did it. Yes. We did we it, Chris. Did it. All right. West Texas was hailed. Yeah. It definitely was. <laughs> hey, Brandon, what's up? Yeah. yeah. Tender mercy. Yeah, I love that part. I, uh, I probably uh, didn't learn. I mean, I definitely didn't practice it. But um, the one um, extra track on uh, the reissue yeah uh answering the phone is a great song um mm -hmm. mainly uh because the lyrics are so good um so uh, maybe i'll take a crack at it even Hell though yeah. uh i don't know <laughs> yeah yeah sounds good um but we'll i'll take a it. crack at waco too okay all right yeah if cracks are being taken oh yeah then i'm down it's twitch.tv slash chris jameson we're winging it <laughs> We're winging it the entire time we're online, so it's you know anything goes. All right, okay, cool. Anything goes. Twenty <laughs> fifth anniversary of Full Force Gil Full Force Galesburg in June. Nice. All right, yeah. we're we're stacking the calendar. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I think I think tonight before we quit, we should play a song or two off of uh, some other albums too. Yeah, yeah. Because the Full Force Galesburg, I mean, you know. Some, some bangers on there oh that's my favorite album uh we were, we were talking uh i was just talking about that um it's like it's and it's the it's like the one record that i never got on vinyl uh and i uh, now it's like four hundred three or four hundred dollars or something oh, and it goes shit. up and i'm just yeah. like <sighs> i'm like next yeah. time <laughs> let's get these commitments made on stream don't you don't have to twist my arm i'll generally sh i can't pra i can't promise that i'll practice or be ready for them but i'll always show up i'm like no problem <laughs> Maybe I didn't get enough milk when I was a baby Maybe I never learned the value of a penny Maybe I listened to that first Black Sabbath album The one with the witch on the front One time too many but I think something's wrong with me I think something's wrong with me I think something's glued down wrong Permanently Maybe it's things I never learned how to do Maybe it's the things I 
learned how to do real well. Maybe it's the Irish whiskey that I like to drink. Maybe it's a California San Fidel, but I think something's wrong with me. I think something's glued down wrong, maybe permanently. I'm gonna tell you once you ought to listen. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Got a strong stomach and a murmur in my heart. Got a tremor in my hand, muscle switches in my face. I think something's wrong with me. I think something's snapped on wrong, maybe permanently. I love that. I love that lyric with the one with the witch on the front. Yeah, <laughs> that whole, the whole song. I'm just like, wow. It's song, like yeah. it's like one after the other. I'm like, where where does he get this stuff? Yeah, yeah. Where does he get these wonderful toys? <laughs> now, have you read any of the the John books? Yeah, um, and it's weird because I am not like crazy for any of the books and i started devil house and i can't even really get into that um i gotta take another crack at it though mm. yeah i i haven't uh i haven't tried devil house i did I, the last one now i'm blanking on the name but it had the, like the wavy cover and the vhs universal uh, harvester yeah universal yeah. harvester i honestly this is gonna sound pretty dumb but i got like i don't know a third of the way through it and it was so freaky I had to stop reading it. Yeah. It was stressing me out. <laughs> I'm going to run and take like two seconds. Uh, All right, cool. So I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to try Waco. All right. So this song, you have the, oh, you have the audio book and the hardback. Nice. Nice. Did you get through Universal Harvester? Yeah, man, that, that. Yeah, it was so freaky. I don't even know what ended up happening. I didn't even look up the spoilers. Oh, he reads them. Oh, sick. I didn't know that. Okay, let me give this song a quick little... I feel like this song... I haven't listened to this song a ton, because it was on the reissue, you know? Um, but uh, the funny thing about this song is I feel like it's just so of this era that even only after hearing it a few times, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can fake it, you know? Okay. Where the dry dust turns the sunset pink Where all summer long it's so hot that you can't think straight Where we pull the water from a well by hand Half a world away from the old promised land We understand what we've been given A new covenant, a real sharp one And we spend our days and nights Gaining appreciation of its finer points And waiting for the dead To rise up from their graves Waiting for Jesus To come along and save us and Biding our time Biding our time 
biding our time as best we know how. Where the Texas Stowe boys used to play before the wind blew everything away. Where we came to get away from our friends Where we tell each other jokes Waiting for the world to end And we know that our jokes are funny But in all the wrong ways And for all the wrong reasons And we rent old George Romero movies Relish the short time left We're Waiting for the dead To rise up from there Waiting for Jesus to come along and save us. Yes, and biting for our time. Biting for our time. Biting for our time the best we know how. That was awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Wow. Nice. That was fun. Yeah, it's fun hearing those. Uh, it's so crazy when you hear those, um, you know, on these reissues and stuff, when you hear these tracks that are like long lost tracks from the old days, you know. Yeah. It's the same like with um, uh, like Under the Pink, you know, Under the Pink reissue had a couple of that Tori Amos album had yeah. a couple uh, unreleased tracks on it as well. And it's so crazy because like you hear new stuff and then and then uh, which is great. I love it. Don't get me wrong, but it's crazy like hearing something from the Under the Pink era that you never heard before. Yeah. I love Tori. I actually got tickets to see her in uh, June. I'm pretty oh, stoked. Yeah? yeah. That's awesome. I have never seen her. I saw her once on the uh, on the. Uh, to Venus and back tour, which was like 99 or 2000 yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, it was sick, yeah. But that, like, that was a stadium, though, because um, that was when she was really big, you know? Right. Yeah. And, um, but now I'm seeing her at a, a smallish place in Seattle. Um, not smallish, but it's it's not a stadium. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So I'm pretty looking forward to it. All right. Well, I pulled those those two. Yeah. Um, is there any? Let's uh, maybe. We'll do oh, like a. Can't find it. Like a, a couple a couple deep cuts first. Okay. I think we talked about this a couple times. Right, cool. <clears throat>
I was like three <laughs> three different speeds that I tried <laughs> simultaneously. <Hell yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put that on the to practice list. I think. Oh, I love that song. That's such a good. It song. is. It is such a yeah. good song. Classic, like the classic uh, JD, uh, um, you know, uh, mellow first verse, scream second verse. <laughs> yes. Nice. All right. Well, maybe I'll, I'll try. Um, we are talking about uh, uh, Galesburg, so I'm, I think I'll try yeah. Weekend in Western Illinois. That's my favorite. Oh, oh, amusing anecdote for that, actually. Okay, let's hear it, yeah. Um, I didn't make it to the first Zoop at, you know, Farm Sanctuary, um, but I was there for the second one. And uh, Weekend, Illinois, uh, Weekend in Western Illinois is, is one of my favorite um, songs. And it's uh, and I was I was crushing on it uh, especially hard at that point. And uh, so JD, when he played the show on the on the farm, had like a a big like request board and basically oh, sick. Um, you would like you would donate money to Farm Sanctuary and then you would write your name on the request board and it would be like, you know, you your name and how much you uh, donated and then your request. OK, so, you yeah. know, and then and then later on, he he went through as he was playing and like knocked them off. That's, and, uh, you know, one person was like four hundred dollars. So obviously he played that. Um, but when I he also had there was also like a uh, a raffle that they were running. So I put like all my available funds into the raffle. So <laughs> then I went to the request board and I wrote my name and weekend in Western Illinois and zero dollars because i spent it all on raffle tickets <laughs> and so he saw that when he was doing it and he's like all right i'll play that because he's like that's awesome <laughs> so we played it anyway even though i didn't technically donate uh, and then one of our friends won the, won the raffle oh nice, thing, nice. So what was, was the cool. what was the prize do you remember oh my god it was like so much like rare shit um, oh really it was like frankenstein do you even do you remember what was in that uh, Zoop too, yeah, and we <laughs> there's a, there's a sub story there because also it was it was like everyone came and camped and we borrowed a tent from somebody and they gave us the wrong tent poles so we were oh. trying to assemble a tent without the right poles and everyone was like what the what are the, what are they doing over there and it was like all like like we we propped it up enough <laughs> to like be kind yeah. of almost up right but it was not right so it was <laughs> that was a whole thing um <laughs> no i can't remember it was like a, cas a promo cassette of nothing for juice and like oh, like yeah. insane like like you know uh rare stuff um yeah but oh uh, yeah this despite the camping thing that was quite an experience um and that hole in the top of the tent. <laughs> it was it was something else. God, and it was camping. And it was freezing that night. Oh and shit, yeah. It was I don't know. Uh, it was so good, but like such like bittersweet memories also. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with with all like the crazy with all the crazy shit that happened. <laughs> Right, stole all the blankets and the air mattress and still complain. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We, we, yeah, we refer to that as type two fun, where it's like type one fun is like, you know, you're having fun right now and it's fun to remember. And type two fun is like, it sucked in the moment, but it's yeah. fun to remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> nice. All right, well, I'm going to play one of your favorite songs then and try not to, uh, try not to let you down. Opening up like a blanket, 
dandelions spread themselves thickly out along the fields, which are evidently endless. We are hardly in love with one another. We've got an unquenchable thirst in our throats. We are for some reason all the time bleeding. We are friendless. You will love these dogs. They roar on the lawn here in Galesburg because they seem to know something nobody else knows. It is written in the smiles on their faces and it rings in their high young voices. We are burning up all of our choices up here where the tall grass grows up here in Galesburg. Skies opening up like an old wound. The rain on our bodies is warm tonight, and the ground underneath us shakes in the cracking thunder. Sounds like your camp trip. We can taste fresh blood in our mouths again. There is no chance we're getting enough of it. And we tally up all our possessions. We're going under. Yeah, we love these dogs. They roll on the lawn here in Galesburg As a new season rocks them in their terrible arms And now they howl as though the world were ending As we are watching the sky unwinding And some of our promises were binding up here Where our dreams take form Up here in Galesburg Up here in Galesburg up here in Galesburg <laughs> Yeah. That's a fun one to play. And that, kids, is how you write a song. Yeah, hell yeah. JD getting mad at you on the forums. He opened Zoop 2 with a cover of Positive Jam. I said that I called it and he got mad. I was like, joke that JD was creeping around the tents at night and trying to write one that's not going to <laughs> yeah because jd was on the forums and it it was one of those examples um of a band that was really like picking up steam and stayed um easily accessible uh, to okay. all the fans and i think that probably played a part in it too <laughs> sure yeah, yeah it's just because he just had to be like all right i'm gonna step take a step back here because uh <laughs> it's getting <laughs> it's getting too weird sometimes <laughs> oh thanks lord yeah that was, yeah, that was fun yeah. nice oh man well hell yeah well what should we what should we do next I don't know let me look at my list my mountain goats list God, I forgot all about that. More more forum drama. There was a whole and I guess it's probably some of the songs that made it to um the reissue of All Hell West Texas. But there uh, was like a a seven inch or like a some kind of release called West Texas Orphans that was oh. slated for release. And like I forget what the what the forum drama was, but like he's just like now it's not coming out <laughs> really <laughs> it was Jeez. Um, yeah it was damn it got, yeah and and some yeah it and it got like toxic you know oh, yeah. in other ways too it's you know it's the internet so it's gonna go bad like you you're, yeah. you give you give everyone free reign to say whatever they want it's gonna yeah. go south yeah that's just the nature of people and yeah. <laughs> and freedom I, I feel like i feel like these days there's less of that you know i mean i know that there still is yeah. some but it feels no you don't think so <laughs> uh, maybe i don't know um yeah. you know and and i think that's maybe because of the um the lack of anonymous uh, you can't be anonymous anymore 
uh, on the internet uh, to a degree. And I think people are are less prone to be terrible uh, when when there's no masking who they are. But yeah, yeah, I mean, in in the in the in the day of um, anonymous forums, and I guess that's why things like um, Reddit and and 4chan and all that kind of stuff is are 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 known for for being especially awful because you can basically just make up a a random um, username and it's much more difficult to track who you actually are rather yeah. than when you say something dumb on Facebook and you know <laughs> someone comes up to you the next day and they're like what, what the hell is this about <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not that I would know about that or anything <laughs> no, like I've yeah maybe it's the circles I run in now yeah. maybe <laughs> complain about the 7 for Australia not being available he only wanted Australians to download it that seems silly yeah, uh, the rabbit holes go deep yeah. <laughs> with, with forum history and drama. <laughs> uh. Well, hell yeah. Uh, one more quirky thing. <laughs> I know I was like that was how many years ago all this stuff happened yeah oh yeah 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 that would have been that would have been what over 10 years ago for sure huh? <laughs> <laughs> my first uh, the first first album I heard was uh, we shall all be healed That was the that was the first the first thing anybody played for me a friend of mine. And uh, I just remember that first you know that first track on that album Slow West Vultures you know. Mm-hmm. Oh man. And just just the the speaking of John J D and his goddamns you know when he says get in the goddamn car on yep. that song. I remember the first time I heard that I was like oh my god this guy's a psychopath. I say that all the time. <laughs> I say that all the time when L'Oreal's taking too long getting ready in the morning. <laughs> I'll like text her from downstairs. I'm like, get in the goddamn car. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Fry bread, authentic Wisconsin cheese flavored beer and beer flavored cheese. Hell yeah. <laughs> I just had some some beer cheese the other night. <laughs> you said it yesterday. <laughs> I wish I could put some. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one, and then um, I wish I could just put like I gotta. I gotta figure out how to use some of this equipment so that I can put some effects on on the guitar too. But I don't know. I'll try this. All right, later, fry bread. See you. Yeah, thanks for coming out. I work down at the liquor store. Got with the shotgun and raging for the place. So we wait behind the counter. I shot him in the face. This morning I went down to the Catholic. Five minutes in the pews, praying the rosary when the last days come. But we 
shall see vision more vivid than sunsets and brighter than stars we will recognize each other and see ourselves for the first time rusty when it never rains here you're so I worked in a liquor store That was, uh, uh, I saw, uh, that was, I saw a full band oh. version of that live, and I, to this day, uh, I chalk it up to the, probably the closest thing to a religious experience I've ever had. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because nice. it was, it was just, and they, they stretched it out, and instrumentation, and it was just oh, so, so good. I can't remember wow. what show it was. Uh, and I always do this. And I uh, and then I find it, and then I forget again. It was, I yeah. think it was in New York, Bowery Ballroom or something like that. But uh, okay, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, what a song. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll try one. Um, how about uh, I'll try something else? Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> good to see you. Going. Good. I'm here. I've been to one Nick Cave concert. I think that's it. I haven't seen Nick Cave yet. I got into that Murder Ballads album. Oh, my God. That, that's that's the only one I've really gotten into. But Love God, that album is so disturbing. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, here's, here's another amusing, uh, amusing anecdote. Um, so murder ballads. Yes. Um, one of my other favorites is the boatman's call. Uh, and, uh, JD was, uh, like a big, uh, birthday party fan. Um, so, you know, like the more raw Nick cave. Yeah. uh, Yeah. You know, so, and, and boatman's call is like all like piano ballads kind of. Um, so he was, we, we saw him once and he was talking about um how he was like you know d- disappointed with the softer nick cave stuff because you know nick cave was like like yeah gritty uh yeah. and he mentions the boatman's call and he's like oh i hated that album and i booed him <laughs> and he <laughs> he heard and like stopped <laughs> and he was like <laughs> He's like, oh, I hate that album. And I'm like, no. 
Und ich habe ihn gefragt. Ich habe gesagt, ah. Ja. Es ist so, you know, it's funny, because I think, maybe I just didn't go to enough mountain goat shows or something, but uh, the ones I did go see, especially the first time, the first few times I saw them, definitely there's a lot of that crowd interaction happening yeah. in a way that, you know, where, where it feels like people are trolling him, you know? And, uh, and more so than other bands, I feel like, you know, and, uh, and then I kind of, not that I think you were trolling them, but, but, uh, but then I, you know, <laughs> then yeah. I kind of figured out that's kind of like the, that's kind of the vibe there. Kind of. Yeah. And it's, I mean, yeah, it was, it was a jovial booing, but, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is, it is, a, it is a unique dynamic. I feel like, especially like with the, with the solo shows and, yeah. uh, and and the whole yeah the whole vibe it's it's a unique unique uh musician i don't know unique live show i guess yeah, yeah. i was right to boo i was right to boo because the bowman's call <laughs> yeah. is awesome <laughs> oh life of the world to come is awesome and i didn't like it when yeah. it came out um well i liked it more than other people uh clearly um but also um it was like one of those albums where i was like i don't like this as much as the other stuff but then little did i know i would like the stuff to come even less so oh, really? now yeah. now yeah. i look back on life of the world to come like and i'm like oh that's good yeah, it's pretty yeah. good <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah there's a few there's a few good jams on there oh uh, yeah the only one um he he was playing um both samuel well samuel was okay um but he would do ezekiel in the in the encore a lot or towards the end of the night and it was just like Uh it's such a a longer song and i'm just like (laughs) i got tired of it but uh yeah um no it, it you know as a whole um as a as an album an album as a whole it's i think it's it's very good especially uh you know looking looking back on it um what do you think about that um did you listen to that what's it called songs for pierre um, that i like um but again you know i i just i didn't there there's something missing i feel like excuse me um i mean it's 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 boombox quality yeah, but yeah i don't know it's there's something there's i don't want to say i guess missing is the wrong word there's just something different in his in the songwriting nowadays yeah 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 it it just had it had um i don't know i feel like it's i think about it a lot and i think it's 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 maybe just like romanticizing uh a, a period in in my yeah. life where like sure. everything was like so like like it was just like it, it was this it was this period that is now frozen in time and i'm like why isn't the new stuff like this perfect yeah. like right. <laughs> span of time that i like met all these amazing people and did all this amazing stuff and blah 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 and it's never gonna like be that again so right right um, right i think maybe that's it yeah I know what you mean. It's like with me, like I, I, you know, yeah. I mean, one reason I love the Mountain Goats so much is because like of that period of time when I found them, you know, and, and, uh, and I, uh, I try, I try not to rec. I, I very rarely recommend artists to people, especially artists I love because inevitably they're not going to love it. Like you love it. Right. Yeah. 95% of the time. And so it's always a little bit of a disappointment, you know, and because it's like, cause it, I mean, there's so much that to goes into a mute or an album. It's like where you were in your life when you heard it, where you were physically right. when you heard it, like what mood you were in that day. All that stuff affects uh, affects how an album hits you, especially the first time so much yeah. that it's like, you know, I mean, as much as we're sitting here in love and reminiscing all hail West Texas, <laughs> it's like if, you know, for somebody who's never heard it before, if they like just listen to it today for the first time or something. I mean, maybe it would hit them, but you know, it's like, it's, but it's like, it's different. 
there are absolutely a lot of and i i try and and bear that in mind when um people are like uh talking crap (laughs) on things i love i'm like well um i'm like maybe you uh maybe like you know you don't understand uh what 1992 was like and (laughs) why why nirvana was like the best thing that ever happened to the world (laughs) or like whatever you know and it's so yeah it is it is like uh uh it is trying in that way to uh to introduce things and and you know similarly like look back on them without uh this this belief that it it was it's like absolutely perfect yeah (laughs) you know right yeah 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 get lonely get lonely is good transcendental youth was good yeah yeah hey dead girly how you doing yes a couple people yeah. have, have have filtered in um yeah get lonely yeah i i really loved beat the champ i mean you know i'm a sucker oh, for too. a uh for a story album and uh anytime there any album really that's like a concept concepty kind of album uh already is like high in my book so <laughs> beat the champ i loved that one i think it's i think that's really great and you know it and it has some um some of the slower ones i'm not crazy about on that mm-hmm. um uh, uh even even southwestern territory that i think opens it uh and uh stabbed to death outside of san juan yeah. uh you know, it kind of loses me, but it fits in the context of the album yeah. and and the flow and like the continuity. Um, yeah. But then, like the and then the but the bangers on that album are like oh yeah are like like uh, you know Chavo Guerrero choked out and then yeah. choked out and animal gimmick yeah. or werewolf yeah. gimmick um, yeah, yeah, yeah. are like are like such barn burners that, yeah <laughs> and i'm like that's sure. what I, that's what i that's what i need from <laughs> and yeah. then he sometimes he'll play them and he's like because oh. <laughs> it is a lot those songs are are like fast and and like you know are are t- too smarky for me <laughs> <laughs> well choked out and heel turn right next to each other I think that I mean that's that's just like a, such a great one too or like a like a just a great yeah. right next to each other like that. I mean on I loved on choked out. There's that lyric where it's like uh, 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 everybody's got a breaking point. Nobody's found mine. Yep. And then oh, which that's I killer. fucking love that lyric. Killer. And then in heel turn the next song, you know he's like you found my breaking point. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, just like in the context, like you're saying, you know, like in the context right after that. Yeah. Uh, choked out is like i mean it hits that that line just hits harder than it would if it was by itself you know yeah totally yeah 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 that does have a fun vibe on that one yeah yeah so anyway mountain goats gotta love them (laughs) i saw uh one time when i saw them in seattle they uh um uh ben gibbard came out and did a song with them what Cause, yeah, because he's from Seattle, you know, he's, well, he's from okay. the Northwest, you know. Yeah. And uh, I think he was living in Seattle at the time. So, and I'm, I can't remember for the life of me what song it was that, uh, that he came out on. But I never uh, even but heard he liked... about that happening. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm Googling. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Well, it would, it would have been in Seattle. It was at the, uh, I think it was, where was it? Uh, it was at Numos, I think. Was it? Yeah, at Numos. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember where. I'm gonna try and read this before it starts playing. Oh, oh, <laughs> did you find it? Yeah, Numos. Uh, doesn't say what they're playing though. Go to remember it right. Hey, Scotty, what's going on? Scott, what is up? <laughs> Thanks for coming in, everyone. Um, I always appreciate the raid. This is this is a, <laughs> this is a, a a weird one to raid into um, because <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's just us pretty much fanboying over the the mountain goats. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right now we're just watching Chris Google things, which is <laughs> which is a sport in and of itself. Um. <laughs> yeah, I guess we should play a song. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. Uh. What are, we we already we played through all of Ale, all hell West Texas. Yes. And now we've just kind of been trading off uh, other songs. Yeah. So the Mountain Goats catalog. You wanna did you do something last or did I do something? I think I forget. I think I did. Why don't you go? Do your okay. favorite uh your favorite. What I don't know. That's <laughs> that's the well the what? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna hear some mountain goats or those fainting goats? Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, up the moves. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I can. Can I do that? I think so. Yeah. Probably. That was on our list anyway to do eventually. Sure, I can do it. Yeah, probably, right? <laughs> wow, we've heard me and my laugh sound weird. <clears throat> There's bound to be a ghost at the back of your closet No matter where you live There'll always be a few things
Hell yeah. <laughs> Love that one. Nice performance on that. That was awesome. Thanks. Oh, thank you. I mean, that, this, that, that, that last verse, I mean, you know, it doesn't get much more fun than that. Bribing officials, killing judges? Come on. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, let's see. I could do uh, I could do you or your memory. All right. I checked into a bargain price room on La Cienica gazed out through the windows of a parking lot. I walked down to the corner store just before nightfall and my bare feet, black tarry asphalt, soft and hot. And when I came back, I spread out my supplies on the counter by the sink, looked myself right in the eyes. St. Joseph's baby aspirin. Bartles and James and you or your memory I ducked behind the drapes when I saw the moon begin to rise gathered in my loose ends switched off the light and down there in the dark I can see the real truth about me as clear as day Lord, if I make it through tonight And I will mend my ways And walk the straight path to the end of my days St. Joseph's baby aspirin Bartles and James and June For your memory sunset tree little sunset tree preview <laughs> <laughs> i think that's the opening track isn't it yeah uh, is it i don't even know well, that or broom people i'd have to look <laughs> that sounds like something i should know off the top of my head <laughs> but it seems yeah like st joseph's baby that's i love that i love playing that one Wait, I've got, I've actually got, I got a request. All right. Oh, nice. I can, I can do that. Well, I can probably do that. Yeah, I got, I got to Google. You got to watch me Google opening track <laughs> on. I guess I can probably do that.
I don't think I know anything off that album. Oh, Heretic? Mm. Heretic. I mean, I play anything. I mean, you know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like, what? What? <laughs> I'm like, wait, we got to talk. <laughs> Heretic Pride was uh, the album that uh, came out right before the Khaki King tour, right before we saw them for the oh, first time. Nice. So that was that was actually my entrance point, pretty much. I mean, I had heard oh. Tallahassee, and I never really, mm. like, stuck. Um, but the Heretic Pride album was like the was like the the touring album when we saw them first. So that will always, you know, uh, uh, have that resounding, uh, you know, effect or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And but, but the, Mal, <laughs> Mal goes, uh, the people just like uh, it. It seems like since the 1990s it's always been like a uh talking crap on the new album thing yeah like, and like a, a big waterfall of it and i'm sure. guilty of it myself um but like when heretic pride came out um people were like oh this album sucks and i'm like what are you talking about they're like yeah they're like i hate autoclave and i'm like what <laughs> Well, we were just, just talking trash about the sax earlier. So, you well, know, there you, you know, go. That's uh, <laughs> like sands through the hourglass. <laughs> How long do you normally stream, Chris? Um, between two and three hours. Okay. What are we at? About two and a half. About two and a half. So I'm, I'm good for whatever. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> But, uh, well, All right. well, I'm going to try another one off of, uh, I'll try another one off Sunset Tree, I guess. Um, we did, we did, you were your memory. So we'll do the next track, Groom People.
36 Hudson in the garage. All sorts of junk in the unattached spare room. Dishes in the kitchen sink. New straw for the old broom. Friends who don't have a clue. Well-meaning teachers. But down in your arms, in your arms, I am a wild creature. Floor two foot high with newspapers. White carpet thick with pet hair. of ice cream in the freezer fresh fuel for the sodium flares I write down good reasons to freeze to death in my spiral ring notebook but in the long tresses of your hair I'm a babbling pro. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Love that one. <laughs> cool. Hannah's going to go walk the dog. <laughs> yeah what a song what a song yeah that album yeah yeah wild creatures is one you hold dear where we shall all be healed yeah 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 that's only i feel you i was saying earlier that was the that was the first uh first album i heard was we shall all be healed yeah a letter from belgium is a great one yeah yeah i love that i love that tune Have you done a uh, Mountain Goats Only stream, full full Mountain Goats Only stream before, Chris? <laughs> I've done two of them. Two of them? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did I put... I, I can't remember if I put them on YouTube or not. Uh, maybe I didn't. But I think I have them saved somewhere, or at least the second one. Nice. Um, I ended up doing one like two weeks ago or something. Oh, I like, how did I miss that? Well, it was like I very rarely stream music, you know? I just mostly stream right, outdoor yeah. stuff. And then so it was just like, it was like, I don't know, a Saturday night or something. <laughs> and I just got like this, you know, this like, just this, this thing hit me. I was like, I gotta go play some friggin' mountain goats. <laughs> <laughs> and I played like, I don't even know how long I played. I think I played for quite a while, like three hours. Oh. Or something. Yeah. Oh, this is the third time. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Technically, this is the third time. Unless I play uh, something uh, weird. Like, I don't, yeah. like, I just like. Uh, bust out some non-mountain goat song like <laughs> randomly <laughs> just to throw things throw things uh throw, throw a loop in things um have you ever heard him have you ever heard him do uh house guest live oh my god yes <laughs> i never have <laughs> oh there were times uh when he would like uh he would get you know the band to do it and he would like get out into the crowd and like grab oh, people's faces and like get and be like, I was the best house guest, house guest you ever. Yeah, yeah that'd uh, be amazing to see. Oh my god, uh, there's probably there's probably video somewhere. I found a couple of videos on uh, on YouTube of him doing it live where I didn't see him like going into the crowd. But the one I did see is like he is like up in somebody's face from stage. Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 That's uh, it was it was. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I guess I'm I'm still gonna stream tomorrow night, right? Um, for yeah, I don't actually know, I don't actually know that Kesha song. Um, but I I I will try it tomorrow, and uh, I guess I'll probably play Stevie Nicks tomorrow. I guess I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I could play a song that's technically not the Mountain Goats, but fits uh, into into this anyway. Hell yeah. Maybe I can play it. We'll have to see. I don't think I can play Attention All Pickpockets. I've tried it a couple times, and I really I really honked it. Unless Joseph can do it. Mm-mm. You know what? I I guess maybe I can. Hold on. <laughs> maybe I can do attention all pickpockets. Did somebody say I should be like announcing the songs? I just assume everyone is familiar with all 800 Mountain Goat songs. <laughs> uh, so I didn't, I didn't. We're really preaching to the choir. Here. I didn't know there were any noobs here that didn't know <laughs> unreleased Mountain Goat songs that, you know. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. All right, so this is an unreleased Mountain Goats song, <laughs> and it's called Attention All Pickpockets. I think it was the B-side of something. Um, we saw uh, Kimia Dawson. I think – does Kimia – I don't know. There's some kind of uh, Kimia Dawson uh, connection on this song, and we did see Kimia uh, do this with JD at – Damn harvest of hope festival in florida or something like that i think hell yeah uh it was awesome they're they're both so phenomenal um yeah all right i'll try it in comes you not the same person i knew looking roughly the same but something hungry getting restless in your brain Same person you used to know peeking through wish I lens it you the corner glow where the only end of road and us too not the same people our old friends do and so I've ever heard that one. It's uh, I keep trying to remember the single. It's all I think it's a B side on something. Are we nice. doing Chris Google stuff again? <laughs> <laughs> all pickpockets. That's a great one. Yeah, it was on the uh, Letter from Belgium single. Oh, and it was okay. Like cool. a like a B side. Was it a uh, band or just uh just John? I think it's just him. But like I said, I think there's some kind of um, – no, well, I'm Googling it already. So <laughs> no, I thought – I even before I we saw them uh, play it together, I thought there was some kind of Kimia Dawson connection that she played like some weird instrument on it or something. 
I don't know. Hmm. Maybe that would take more Googling. Uh, the recognition <laughs> scene? I don't know. Oh, yeah, this, this is just like a, an entire like we're just gonna keep, keep i'm like what about this one what about this one what about this one? <laughs> this is literally could go on forever yeah yeah i mean i think i've i've probably played a quarter of the mountain of songs that i know so <laughs> <laughs> okay so not okay Ooh, speaking of unreleased Mountain Goat songs, I got one. I got one. Uh, what is the name of it? Juice of the Barley. Oh, you're in Maya. You're in Maya. Yeah, thank you. I tried to play that. I'm not. I'm not good at that. <laughs> okay, let me, it's let me very give good it a try. Though. right in the face I drove the Falcon uptown hung out in a library parking lot the swelling will never go down tied a Hiram Walker in the lining of my father's old corduroy coat big big plants hatching in my brain and a big ugly lump in my throat I drove up to Harvey Mudd and I played pinball Till I didn't want to kill anyone Polished off all my cheap whiskey And stepped out into the California sun Singing by on the road Sangam And the juice of the barley for me Singing by on the road Sangam And the juice of the barley for me My thirst carried me up the coast Where it only got sharper, goddammit In a small room that got even smaller A block away from the Willamette There was nowhere I needed to go And nowhere I wanted to be And my window looked out upon nothing And nothing looked right back at me I had a couple of things on my mind a couple of problems to think through And I drank till I couldn't see straight anymore Until there was nothing to drink to Singing by on Ramona Sangamna And the juice of the barley for me Singing by on Ramona Sangamna And the juice of the barley for me yeah. Got, uh, I had a um, Mountain Goats bootleg DVD that I bought off eBay <laughs> <laughs> a long, a long time ago when I first got into them. I don't even know. That one must have been, I don't know, 2009 or something like that. And um, that song was on it. And uh, it, was, it was like, it was like John playing at a bar. And uh, I don't know why. I don't know. Like, I mean, I guess that was like kind of the early ish days of YouTube. So, you know, that was like back when you couldn't find everything on YouTube. Right. Yeah. And so, and so that was, uh, and so anyway, so I, that's where I learned that song from. It was, it was a pretty sweet little DVD. I'm going to take another uh, 30 second break. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll be right back. Well, I'll play a 30 second Mountain Goat song. Husband, my wife, 
my marriage, your life. Let's go to Maine out on the East Coast. Let's go to Maine right now. Let's beat the retreat. Let's hop on a plane. Let's get out of here. Let's go to Maine. Someone knows what's going on. Someone knows and someone's gonna tell. Someone's gonna wrap us up in styrofoam and paper. Mail us flat rate right down to hell. Let's go to Maine out on the East Coast. Uh, let's go to Maine right now. Let's beat the retreat. Let's hop on a plane. Let's get out of here. Let's go to Maine. <laughs> I think that's one of the shorter ones I know. play one of my uh one of the uh one of the heartbreakers we'll do standard bitter love song seven i think it is standard bitter love song seven yeah all right What's my favorite? My favorite Mountain Goat song? Oof, I don't know. I mean, I guess of all time, if I had to pick one Mountain Goat song of all time, my favorite would be uh, Best Ever Death Metal Band out of Denton. Because, I mean, come on. What a way to open an album. And All Hail West Texas, even though I don't listen to it all the time anymore, you know, because I've heard it a bajillion times. Um, I mean, it's still like, you know, I mean, it's hard to beat that. It's hard to beat All Hail West Texas, and it sure is hard to beat, uh, it sure is hard to beat, uh, you know, that as an opener. So I think, yeah, I think if I had to pick one favorite song of all time, it would have to be it. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, welcome back. I just <laughs> did Going to Maine. I know. I w ran in the other room, and I heard it on the real phone, and it was oh, nice. awesome. <laughs> and then that, that, that just opens up, like, the whole... Uh, the like man now i want to hear all those songs <laughs> all those going to songs which it, I, all right is actually a coincidence because one of the ones that i was gonna play before um where all mentioned attention all pickpockets was technically a going to song but it's oh, okay not technically a mountain goat song no Things we are going tomorrow. 
What a fun one. So good. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. What would be a fun one to do next? I'm now kind of trying to think of some of those, some of those old ones. I know. <laughs> Really it's funny because we, we we talked we planned this out and we were like we'll do all hail west texas and yeah. then a couple of the extra tracks and then like the the hits and then done <laughs> <laughs> but then we're just like and wait but wait what about this uh, one <laughs> <laughs> which is awesome yeah yeah for sure and fun as hell yeah Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe I need to do something else off Sunset Tree. Anything off Sweden? Let's see if I know anything on Sweden. I'm gonna have to look at the track list again. I don't think I've ever learned any songs off of Sweden. I'm looking at the track list right now. I don't think I know any of these. You got one, Chris? Um not really that's not my strong point um yeah um there was a bar in i want to say it's brooklyn uh called uh shit now i forget um <laughs> i was gonna say munchies but that's the that's the bar that um all the old mountain goats things were at um i forget if 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 Frankenstein or L'Oreal remember, but they used to have uh... <laughs> shit. I forget. That's true. That that would be a good name. Um, shit. Now know, I <laughs> they had uh, Mountain Goats karaoke a couple times. Oh, sick! And it was it was so we went once and it was so cool. But like our friend uh, did a California song. But he, he's got like a, a really great voice, uh, and he like quieted everything down, and and they uh, turned off all the lights, and it was like oh, so. Nice. It's probably on. I th I believe it is on YouTube somewhere. I gotta dig that up too, uh, and it's like so haunting and perfect. It was so good. Oh, Joe was there too. Oh, oh yeah. Feel Hawaiian it. feeling. Oh, Damn, man. how did they even get the people out for that? Spread I don't know. The word on the forum? There was a decent amount of people there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Song. Oh, I don't know. Shadow Song. <laughs> uh, what album is Shadow Song? Is that on Sweden? No, that's... Uh... Trying to... Hand and unlovable hand. Oh, nice, nice. That's a good song. I, you know, I was thinking I could play that, but I don't have my. I can't find the capo, and I need a capo to play that one. I'm not the best singer, so my I can only you know sing in a couple of keys. <laughs> so if I don't got the capo, I can't do it. Um, oh yeah, corners gambit. Yeah. Oh, it's on corners. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, let's see. I guess I could try. Okay, here I'll I'll try this one. I'll give this one a try. I don't know if I can do it though. Let's see. To a stuttering halt The cool breeze that blows Is somebody's fault The summer heat tries to burn through And I look over to warn you But something's happening The 
morning glories climb the wall and you speak in a slow draw I'm trying to piece together what you're saying but the birds are screeching and the hounds are baying I don't remember there being any hounds around here lean back and we clink our glasses raise the drinks to our thirsty mouths thick as molasses and ice cold vodka eases in as a low pressure system brings the breezes in there's sachet and feel wet above you the only thing i know is that i love you and i'm holding on It's hard to, the rhythm on that is hard. It is very tough, yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like my camera died halfway through that. <laughs> Rock so hard the GoPro passed out, hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, you sang this, you sang that one. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a hard one to sing. <laughs> yeah, the GoPro. The GoPro loves it. I'm just trying to figure out if I can do it or not. Second story room in Jamaica, Queen. Your hair was dripping wet. Your skin was clean. Children skipping rope. Triple their speed. You were all I'd ever want. a sweden oh, yeah. request oh nice <laughs> nice i, I yeah. figured one out that i could do <laughs> maybe did you see that that uh tweet that he did on uh speaking of the tweet there on january 6th where he did the sometimes you need a mountain goat song did you ever see that i don't think i saw that oh man you gotta google that one it's hilarious he did this uh it's like a 15 second song or something like that. And the lyrics are like, sometimes oh, you need a mountain goat song. I think you know, I did see that, yeah. About bodies of water and like, sloth <laughs> in a tree and all that. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. You are sleeping off your demons When I come home Spittle bubbling on your lips Find 
white foam I am young and I am good It's a hot Southern California day If I wake you up There will be hell to pay And alone in my room I am the last of a lost civilization I vanish into the dark And rise above my station Rise above my station stereo because it's the one thing that I couldn't live without so I think about that and then I sort of black out held under these smothering waves by your strong and thick vein hand for one of these days I'm gonna wriggle up on dry land like it's like we we play one and we're like oh fuck it's such a good song <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it yeah, is just, it's, just just, it's a celebration you know hell yeah <clears throat> all right i gotta see what this tweet is what's this tweet link here i'm gonna gamble it has something to do with stevie nicks oh uh, okay knowing where it's coming from <laughs> in the firmament all reserves completely spent somebody set up the oxygen tent everybody here is real proud to present choked out Velvety arms of the night Click and call and scratch and bite Fire up the grill Everybody eats tonight Choked out No breaks down In endless dark incline Most of the boys Won't ever cross this line They all want to die dead broke That's fine, that's fine Everybody's got their limit. Nobody's found mine. Crowd screaming like hounds at the heat of the chase. All the colors of the rainbow flood my face. I lift right off into space. I can see the future. It's a real dark place. Choked out. Choked out. Choked out. Choked out. Choked out. Choked out. You got heel turn ready? <laughs> no. All right, I better give it a try then. Get stomped like a snake. Lie down in the dirt. Cling to my convictions. 
Even when I get hurt Being upstanding, well-loved man About town In your child's mind That's how it goes down But I try the losing side I don't want to die in here I don't want to die in here Drift down into the new dark light Without any reservation Found my breaking point Congratulations Spent too much of my life now trying to play fair Throw my better half overboard Shoot at him when he comes up for air Come unhinged Getting revenge I don't wanna die in here Don't want to die in here Stay good under pressure For years and years and years President of the fan club Out there choking on his tears Let all the trash rain down From way up in the rafters I'm walking out of here in one piece Don't care what comes after Drive the wedge Torch the bridge I don't want to die in here I don't want to die in here That's a great one, too. <laughs> but after Choked Out, I had to try it. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, you're muted. I can't hear you. At least in Zoom, you're muted. Oops. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, Moon Colony Bloodbath EP came out about that same time. Uh, Black Pear Tree with Khaki King and... The uh, Moon Colony Bloodbath with oh, yeah, John yeah, yeah. Vanderslice came out just again, just as we were getting into them. So at yeah. least that's one I got on vinyl before it went out and nice. you know, <laughs> became yeah. wildly unattainable. Um, but that's one, you know, early on that we saw those songs for. Because then um, after the Khaki King tour, he went on the, the Gone Primitive tour, and that's the one I was saying that I, I followed. We, we followed uh, multiple dates for. So we saw uh, JD Solo and John Vanderslice on like six oh, yeah. different six different dates. And uh, yeah. so they played a lot of those songs. Um, oh, yeah. And that's great. Uh, but <laughs> oh, yeah. L'Oreal uh, said that supposedly said all night she was going to yell Golden Boy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now she, I guess, probably just remembered about it. Um, <laughs> is this still in tune, or did I ha have I beaten it out of tune by now? I think the oldest vinyl I have of the Mountain Goats is of the Loading Machine. Yeah, that's that was. How. Um, there was a like. I guess either like some found copies or a second pressing of that or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and it became uh, pretty uh, available for a very short span of time. Oh, uh, yeah. That must have been when I it got it because again. it wasn't expensive. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I might have paid 30 bucks for 40 bucks or something, but I don't know what it's cost these days. Frankenstein was was come come to the sunset tree in the the raffle thing. Uh, that might have been that might have been part of the Zoop uh, giveaway. 
was a copy of come come to the sunset tree um or weren't those ones he was like hand drawing or something yeah or am I yeah it's else? the it's the demo versions of the sunset tree with right. uh hawaiian feeling and oh, okay maybe that's what i'm thinking of then yeah but jd still has copies of <laughs> come to the sunset tree that never got released because the covers never got done so they're like in his house or oh. whatever <laughs> and they're like <laughs> four or five hundred dollars on ebay or something like that oh, wow. um and he's well, just like cheaper i don't know i guess yeah he's like i don't know i never finished them i'm like come on i have one <laughs> um but i think um, you have one i do Hell yeah. the nice. the person who won the raffle at zoop 2 uh sold me their copy of come come to the sunset tree and uh a sealed copy of the coroner's gambit um oh, nice with with the understanding that i would um eventually sell it back to him if he wanted it um, he has not called me on that yet, <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping he doesn't. I still talk to him, but yeah. Oh, it didn't come out on vinyl when it first came out. It was a shame. I didn't catch it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. JD not co- doing the covers for "Come Come to the Sunset Tree" is je- definitely a Chris Jameson move. <laughs> um, but here's I here's one off uh, Moon Colony Bloodbath that. Uh, I guess it- is my one of my favorites pale white moon shines down on Colorado hide my dirty secret down here in the shadows where the quaking aspens tremble in the snow haul me up along the hillside hold me high and let me go let me fall down through my own roof like a meteorite let the world and all its wonders leave me to my toys Night at my 96 inch television screen. Let me die, let me die. That's why we come to a Chris Jameson stream right there. <laughs> it is because it's about a big TV. It's yeah, I don't have TV. I, I don't have a 96 inch uh, TV yet, so that's I'm gonna keep singing that song until I get one. <laughs> and uh, living in isolation <laughs> on the moon.
Well, let's see. I guess I should play a song, huh? As I, I don't know where my... I wish I knew where my capo was. I would open up my, uh, I would open up my options a little. <laughs> Just an 87-inch? It's actually an 82-inch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is uh, still a, an absurdly large television. <laughs> but still not a 96-inch. I'm gonna try love 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 i haven't played this in a while but i'm gonna give it a try beautiful rat sunday mmm <laughs> tasty king saul fell on his sword when it all went wrong and joseph's brother sold him down the river a song. And Sonny Liston rubbed some tiger balm into his glove. Some things you do for money, some you do for love, love, love. Raskolnikov felt sick, but he couldn't say why. When he saw his face reflected in his victim's twinkling eye Some things you do for money and some you'll do for fun But the things you do for love are gonna come back to you one by one Love, love is gonna lead you by the hand Into a wide and soundless place Now we see things as in a mirror dimly Then we shall see each other face to face And way out in Seattle, young Kurt Cobain Snuck out to the greenhouse, put a bullet in his brain Snakes in the grass beneath our feet, rain in the clouds above Some moments last forever is some flare up with love, love, love. Mm -hmm. Ah, thanks, Run, Michael. Run, appreciate that. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a nice song. Growing up in Seattle, uh, and I'm 40, so when I grew up in Seattle when Kurt Cobain died, it was a very memorable. Well, I grew up in Portland, but um, but I'm from the Portland, Seattle area. Anyway, I remember that day. <laughs> oh. I grew up in New Jersey, <laughs> and I remember Hell that yeah. day. <laughs> Made it out to, uh, uh, my dad, my brother, and I went out to, um, my dad's a big music fan, um, and we made it out to Mo Mopop, which is like this big, big uh, museum, and um, used to be called the Jimi Hendrix, Ex it was like called the Experience Music Project, back when it first opened. It's like right down, down by the Space Needle, but it's not called that anymore. But anyway, they have a big, uh, they have a massive um, Nirvana exhibit there with a bunch of cool stuff, you know. Uh, drum like Dave Grohl's drums you know from back in the day and all that kind of like different guitars and you know Chris's basses and stuff like that it's pretty pretty freaking sweet pretty fun to see um, I'll <clears throat> I'll give the word uh, if I am tapping out but don't <laughs> <laughs> just don't you know i i'm i'm not trying to keep you but also oh no uh yeah this is awesome and fun and 
yeah. <laughs> keep doing. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, no, let's keep at it. Let's keep rocking. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'll play till whenever you're done. From the housetops to the gutters From the oceans to the shore Our warning signs have all been bright and garish Far too great in number to ignore From the cities to the swamplands From the highways to the hills Our love has never had a leg to stand on from the aspirins to the crosstops to the elevators, but I will walk down to the end with you if you will come all the way down with me. From the entrance to the exit is longer than it looks from where we stand. I want to say I'm sorry for stuff I haven't done yet. Things will shortly get completely out of hand. I can feel it in the rotten air tonight. In the tips of my fingers, in the skin on my face, in the weak last gasp of the evening's dying light. In the way those eyes I've always loved illuminate this place like a trash can fire, like a trash can fire in a prison cell like the searchlights in the parking lot of hell i will walk down to the end with you if you will come all the way down with me So I get for trying to not look at the end. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, I think we we spoke of it previously. Uh, 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 Mountain Goat songs with 
literally perfect lines. Uh, that's chock full of them. That's one of my favorite songs oh, yeah. too. Uh, yeah. uh, but from the aspirants of the cross tops of the Ellavilles and uh, like a trash can fire in a prison cell, like the searchlights in the parking lots of hell. That's like literal perfection in songwriting. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, uh, I think one of my favorite lines, I mean, I know that like the concept has been, you know, uh, oops. Um, but the, uh, I want to say, I'm sorry for things I haven't done yet. Things will shortly get completely yeah. out of hand. I mean, another, another great. Yeah. Great line there. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Golden boy. Who's going to break we, down and play golden I guess boy? I That's what I'm wondering. It. <laughs> you must try to lead a good life You must do unto others as you such a fun one <laughs> <laughs> it is such like a good like um like the the progression and like the timing of it like it's it's like yeah bow, bow, bow. have yeah. you ever have you ever figured out how to play cubs in five <sighs> no <laughs> i've tried so many times and i, I just i cannot do it no <laughs> That's such a weird strum pattern. It is, yeah. And I just I feel I, like you gotta you get you can't use a pick, you gotta like do the yeah you know, the hand yep. the hand thing. Which I can never pull off. <laughs> I know, I was look I, I was going through the list and I like saw it and I'm like, no. <laughs> never again. Yeah. Hmm. Well let's see. I guess I should have been I could Cubs and Five, yeah. Cubs and Five is it's 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 a it's a fun one. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, I'll try this one. Um 
Yeah, this one is called First Few Desperate Hours. Bad luck comes in from Tampa. Bad luck comes in from Tampa on the back of a truck. Doing 90 up the interstate. We have bad dreams and night he rolls in. We have bad dreams and night he rolls in. And we try to keep our spirits high. But they fly. And they wait when the truck pulls up out front in the light spring rain. And they say, like withering flowers, let the good times roll on for these first few desperate hours. Yeah. Driver drops his cargo at the curb. Yeah, the driver drops his cargo at the curb. And the sun peeks in like a killer through the curtain. And when cloven hoof prints turn up in the garden. Yeah, when cloven hoof prints turn up in the garden. We keep up the good fight. We keep our spirits light. But they drop. Life flies mm -hmm. And there's a stomach churn shift On the way the land lies And they lean Like towers On a hillside struggling to stand Through these first few desperate hours Yeah Like a killer through the curtain. That is a good line. I think my mic was falling there. Distracting me. Um, yeah, that is that's a good tune. <laughs> this is such a vast list. I feel like I feel like I did too many. Too many deep cuts. Let's try again. Some things you do just to see how bad they'll make you feel. Sometimes you try. Until the thoughts are a blur of spinning wheel But I am just a broken machine And I do things that I don't really need Long black night, morning frost I'm still here, but all is lost And then slam on the brakes Some people crash through a three times Then learn from their mistakes We are the ones Don't slow down at all And there's nobody there
song the music video on that is so good yeah that's a good one yeah that's one of the it's one of the few mountain goats videos i i watch on a regular of the yeah regular basis sure <laughs> no i mean not that there's a lot of mountain goats videos but you know that's a good one i still don't know exactly what's happening in it i'm still a little confused but no <laughs> good though yeah that's a good one all right i'm gonna try i'm gonna try standard bitter love song i think i usually capo this but i'm gonna try it without a capo uh number eight <laughs> i went down to lloyd center Looking for you, but a mouth full of anger blocked my view. He took your hand right there in the skating rink. God will give him blood to drink. Saw the two of you leaving Didn't want to follow behind But I could see The rest of your evening burning in my mind The sky is black The moon is pink God will give him blood to drink I looked over the railing the ice was white on the northeast side where I saw you and your boyfriend on a Friday night I went mining for gold I struck pure fresh zinc God God will give him blood to drink hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is so good <laughs> because <laughs> i'm like i'm like oh yeah i should rein it in a little and like get a little uh less obscure with the shit that i pull out and, uh -huh. and then you just go <laughs> <laughs> this is like the best game of tennis i've ever played try it <clears throat> there's power in the name but the name's been lost for centuries there's poison in the water but the water tastes like honey and we're so thirsty that we don't care can hardly hold our attention and this is a song for our young men to sing when they run out of options yeah when they run out of options there's faith you can give or withhold revolution you came for 
There's a message in the song But the message is hopeless and complicated And the words are written on water And disappear before you write them down But I, I brought the Polaroid And this is the song And everybody's got to sing along Another perfect goddamn it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was great. That was one of my favorite ones tonight, I think. Okay, now I'm gonna go now I'm gonna go back to more well known ones. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll have to look down the list again. Okay, let's see if I can pull this off. And roll down the windows Let's go where the jackals are breeding Well, I think I... Maybe I played this here Wipe down the windshields And roll down the windows Let's go where the jackals are bleeding Hold on a second um, Yeah, I think I played this a step up Because it was a little too low for me Yeah, okay, okay Yeah, this is right Wipe down the windshields and roll down the windows. Let's go where the jackals are breeding. Wrap this bandana around your head. Don't let anyone see that you're bleeding. Fire up the scanner and keep your eyes on it. Don't speak unless someone speaks to you. Hands in your pocket and sun on your face The warm love of God coursing through you Home again Home again Garden grow oh, Garden grow I can remember when we were in high school Our dreams were like fugitive warlords Plotting triumphant returns to the city Keeping tech nines tucked under the floorboards Now we are practical men of the world We tether our dreams to the turf and cruise down these alleys for honey to feed them Jellyfish riding the surf Shoving our heads Straight into the guts of the stove Home again Garden grow
A super short one. They wanted me to be a lawyer. They wanted me to work in a machine shop. They wanted me to be a designer. But I came out on top. I'm a fireman. I'm a fireman. stand and watch the smoke see the flames rise to the sky I stand and watch the flames climb higher feel the smoke get in my eyes I'm a fireman I'm a fireman I just keep adding tabs. All right. But <laughs> <laughs> I got to stop at some point. All right. Um, why don't. All right. Why don't do we you know do... the Anglo Saxons? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm gonna do one more, and then you do one more, and then we'll let's pick one more popular one. Okay. And then we'll call it. All right, sounds good. I have to figure out how this how it some protective film <laughs> on this pick guard that has never been removed but then like <laughs> did you just thrash it <laughs> yeah i i like cut a hole in it and i'm like oh i was supposed to remove that i guess <laughs> or maybe maybe the plastic was better to have there i don't know well there you go protected your pick guard for a while that's true until a until a three-hour mountain goat session. <laughs> <laughs> if it was ever going to happen. Uh, yeah, that's right. All right, let's see. All right, uh, let's see. I was trying to find a fun one. Uh, hmm. But now I mentioned the Anglo-Saxons, and now I think I kind of got to try it. I don't know if I've ever tried playing this song, so... I you know, we'll see what happens. But I mean, come on, how hard is it, right? <laughs> Something like this, okay. They used to paint their bodies blue. No, where is the key? They used to paint their bodies blue. A couple of them might be distantly related to you. According to Caesar, they shave their entire bodies Except for the upper lip Or the head I don't remember the chorus <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the Anglo-Saxons Or something like that A subliminate bunch of guys Though some sources say otherwise Yeah, the Anglo-Saxons yeah, they were men on a mission Preserving their poetry by an oral tradition Yeah, oral, tradi or oral tradition is all that you get Until St. Augustine brought them the alphabet Yeah, the Anglo-Saxons <laughs> Yeah, the Anglo-Saxons in 1065, they were raging, but 1066 brought the Norman invasion. Yeah, the Anglo 
Saxons. That. <laughs> that was good. I don't think I've ever tried that before. <laughs> that was very good for, for off the cuff. Or very good at all, but... Um... Oh, well, thanks, dude. <laughs> it's a ridiculous one. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, this is going to be the last one I do, I think. Um, yeah. And then... You want to do one more and then we'll uh i am i am totally amazed <laughs> we have carried i think a lot of people came in with scott's raid and i hope yeah. i like to think that uh we held their attention with only mountain goat songs primarily yeah. ones that are weird as hell uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i mean in um, my book we've converted several people to mountain goats fans today. there's at least <laughs> there's at least what 20 more people googling the mountain goats now exactly yeah so i think that's uh i think that's a, a goal accomplished right yeah that's what we're here yeah. for um, well john can send us a thank you note whenever he gets <laughs> time <laughs> just he, it doesn't even have to be handwritten just shoot us a tweet or something <laughs> yeah dm exactly. whatever it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do this. It's not super well known, but it's you know it's uh, it's more well known than most of them. So, um, and then whatever you want to do, and then we'll call it a night. Um, All right, sounds good. Thank you for uh, hey for you. It was this was all your idea, and it was so fun and awesome. Um, oh, thank yeah, you for everyone time. who. Uh, came out and watched this crazy thing yeah. that um went from like a, a hour and a half uh concept to now four hours yeah, is that what we're at right now i don't even remember when we started so uh, hell yeah and um we'll be uh revisiting uh the anniversaries of all the albums maybe we'll do one stream uh for every you know like the 23rd anniversary of <laughs> yeah just like like frankenstein said one every month it's, it's yeah exactly got it <laughs> Drunken kisses slide as the end.
track. That was, that was so great. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking I should try. Now, normally I play this with a capo, but I can't find the capo. So I think I'm just going to have to transpose it, which we'll see how it goes. But I mean, no children. What do you think? I was hoping you'd do it so I wouldn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me see if I can give it a try here. All right. This is, uh, let's see. All right, I'm, so I'm, so I'm transposing it, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to try it. too weird i think i'm gonna have to try something else as much as i want to do it it's weird without a, a capo. capo i think it's weird without a capo yeah yeah uh and we don't want to end it on a mess up we <laughs> no one did this year right you know i cannot do this year i've tried really? doing it i can't pull it off i, I don't know mean, why i don't know if i can hannah does a really great this year but I don't know if she's listening, but she does it really good. Okay, I'm going to try. You know what I'm going to try is Oceanographer's Choice. Because Hannah likes, she says I play it well, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, Oceanographer's Choice. Let's try that one. I mean, talk about great lines, right? Um, a guy in a skeleton yeah. costume goes yeah. up to a guy with a Superman suit, runs him with a broadsword. I mean, come on. <laughs> That like uh, it's the one two three punch at the end of that record. It's uh, yeah, old college try oceanographer's choice and Alpha Rat's Nest. Yeah. All right, let me find the tab here. Oceanographer's choice. What's going on here? Which song got you in the mountain? Oh, Oceanographer's Choice got you into the mountain goats? Nice. Ocean how the hell do you spell oceanographer? <laughs> <laughs> mountain goats. What's going on here? All right, my tabs. My tabs are messed this time. Uh, that's Tallahassee, right? Yeah. Is that there? I found it. I found it. Oh, shit. This one's a capo as well. Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, that just screws up all my plans. What do you got? You got what? I, I don't know if I can do it. Do you want to finish it off? <laughs> Oh yeah, see America right, yeah, that is a good one. I'll give it a shot. I've I don't think I've ever been able to play this song <laughs> all the way through without botching it, but Hell yeah. You got it, you got I'll it. Give it a shot.
Some say it's darkest before the sun rises We're pretty sure they're all wrong I hope it stays dark forever I hope the West is over I hope you break before I do I hope I never get sober I hope when you think of me years down the line You can't find one good thing to say I hope that if I found the strength to walk out You'd stay the hell out of my way I am drowning There is no sign of land You are coming down with me Hand in unlovable hand And I hope you die I hope we all die That's the way to end the night. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what a blast this has been. This has been so fun. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. And thank you for the people who hung out through this. Yeah. Uh, it has been. Uh, I. I. Yeah. It. It. I don't think it'll be the last time because this was too good. <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah. we'll we'll keep uh, we'll we'll work on something else and we'll uh, we'll be back doing this. This is it's it's uh, there were a little a couple hiccups <laughs> figuring out how to work um, technology uh, at first. <laughs> but once we got it going, I think it it, uh, it it worked out well. So, yeah, I think so uh, too. Yeah. thank you, Joseph. And thank you for everyone who came in and uh, and watched. Um we can uh unless you have a uh a a mountain goats uh r- uh you know uh oh fan, somebody else fan raid target i guess i don't go uh no i don't probably, i don't know uh, anybody <laughs> else probably mandevilles is is oh, as yeah. closest yeah sure i love the mandevilles I think mildly aggressive folk was on before, but they seem to be gone. All right, so thanks everyone. Oh man, this is so awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, time this is time killer. went so quick. Um, yeah, thanks everyone. We'll be back, and I don't. Uh, how many ways can you say thank you? <laughs> uh, next time out. we got to play. Do you think now? Do you think next time we could play four hours and not repeat any songs from tonight? <laughs> I don't I'm not like, not even going to remember any of <laughs> All right, let's go. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye. That was fun. <laughs>